Modeling of Crystal Lake, uh, elevation time series based on uh, a famous visible innovations. Uh, this, uh, this is the Crystal Lake. Uh, it, it locates in the north part of the U.S. It's the largest solid lake in the western lake, uh, in the western hemisphere, the fourth largest terminal lake in the world. Uh, we can say that the uh, Great Salt Lake uh, was uh, divided into north part and the, the west part uh, by a, uh, this is the Kazoo Bay. And uh, the impact of the Great Salt Lake has uh, have great impact to the uh, surrounding areas. Uh, we can see in this picture, is, uh, in this peak, in about 1986, the elevation got the highest point. This is caused about 285 million dollars uh, worth of damage, including the indus industries, railways, and, and so on. And because the importance of the Great, uh, Great Salt Lake elevation, uh, the U United States uh, Geological Survey has been collecting the water of the surface elevation uh, from Great Salt Lake since 1985. Uh, 1975. 1875. 1875. Uh, 1875. Uh, 1875. Uh, 1875. Uh, 1875. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, there are a lot of techniques have been used to estimate the uh, elevation of Great Salt Lake, uh, including the, uh, some uh, models, uh, include the ARMA, Garsh or Figarsh models. But uh, these models still uh, is uh, insufficient to uh, describe this uh, time series um, correctly, uh, accurately. Uh, so we need uh, uh, new models, uh, accurate model to uh, describe this time series. Uh, actually, there are two main reasons. Two uh, uh, main reasons, maybe because of the. The one is because of the existing of the uh, long range dependence in the uh, elevation time series. Is uh, that is to say, the this uh, elevation time series has the uh, long memories. Another reason may be because the long convergence of the second order moment of the uh, Great Salt Lake elevation time series. So the fractional order signal processing technique may be the better technique to model uh, Great Salt, Salt Lake uh, elevation time series. Uh, actually, the fractional signal, fractional order signal processing including the uh, long range dependent power law or uh, stable distribution and so on. And uh, uh, now let's uh, introduce the, what is the long range dependent. Oh, you can go this one. There. Okay. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is the the uh, alpha stable distribution. The no Gaussian signal is uh, more frequent, fre frequently tend to produce large ampli amplitude uh, average from the uh, average value than Gaussian sig signals. No Gaussian signals uh, are more likely to exhibit sharp uh, spikes. Uh, that, yeah, we can see that just like this big. This big is uh, the time series with alpha equals to 1.6. This is the, the, the shot, we can say it like mm -hmm. this. And uh, uh, Ophema with stable innovation is, uh, I think, is the good model to uh, describe the Great Salt Lake elevation time series because it can uh, describe the, it, it can capture the long range dependent character and the, the, it's the heavy tail the character. So um, this is the analysis of the Great Salt Lake elevation uh, time series. This is the uh, autocorrelation function of Great Salt Lake water surface elevation. Uh, from this we can say that as the n become larger, the autocorrelation function uh, decades gradually, slowly. So it has the uh, long range dependent character. And we use the, these two um, estimators to calculate uh, to calculate uh, the first parameter is uh, ne nearly one. That is to say, uh, it has the long range dependent character. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the uh, this is the variation uh, 
trend of the great solid elevation time series, uh, we can say that the trend is not convergent. Uh, and this is the distribution of the uh, great solid ele um, elevation time series. And, and the, the red line red line is the Gaussian distribution. Uh, uh, the green line is the Gaussian distribution and the red line is the estimate um, the great solid elevation. We can see that the, the red line has the heavy tail than the Gaussian distribution. Mm -hmm. This is the result. Uh, uh, this is the uh, I use the Ophelma with stable innovation model uh, to uh, forecast the uh, to, and forecast the, the elevation from 2008 to 2009. And we can see that uh, actually the blue line is the actual value of the Great Salt uh, Lake elevation, uh, and the red one is Xmax is the forecast data. From the analysis, we can see that the Ophima with stable innovation model has success, successfully characterized the grid sort uh, water uh, elevations. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. Okay, all the equations in the paper. So thank you. <laughs>